Hey everyone, I'm actually going to be doing a video on error cards today. This is a hot topic right now because the April 30th patch gave them an 80% increase to damage as well as 3500 range once you're specced into it from the World vs World rank points. Uh, this is a change that players are trying to justify by saying that error cards uh, serve no real purpose before. And as a commander, I have to say that prior to this patch, I'd already extensively been using arrow cards on my server, and I felt like they were in a good place where they both were a good defensive tool and great at supplementing armies on the field and helping with the push. I'm going to show some demonstrations of pre-patch arrow cards and why players like me are concerned about the health of the game with such a dramatic increase to their strength. One common usage of arrow cards both pre and post patch is setting up your arrow cards behind your own gate and using their AoE to safely destroy enemy rams and golems they may be using against you in defense. Uh, there's really nothing the enemy can do about these arrow cards in this sort of placement and it effectively destroys any rams and golems they may be using. In this situation it only took us two arrow cards to destroy their rams and this was before the great increase in the damage that arrow cards got with the patch. Uh, what we would do after slowing them down would generally be to call in allies and get more people into the map to try and push out as a team. And you can see here we're even doing it early before more reinforcements come and just doing our best to slow them down as we push in as a group. This would lead to a lot of good fights, but generally, uh, post-patch, now instead what we end up doing is setting up arrow carts further back on our own walls and through fiddling with your camera view, just finding a good placement to destroy the enemy with arrow carts instead of players. And I'm generally more for having Siege supplement your players rather than being, you know, the complete tool to destroy your enemy. Uh, I don't like the idea of players being taken out of the equation in PvP. Here you'll see that we're actually being stalled at a bridge, and what happens is we're not able to push them back. So to get a little bit of leverage on the fight, what we end up doing is going inside and a few of us set up one arrow cart. And you'll see that one arrow cart's enough to turn the tide in a fight like this. Now as soon as this arrow cart gets up, uh, you'll immediately notice a change in the battle. I mean, we were pretty much at stalemate at the bridge, we were even being pushed back a little bit. All it took was a few people to run inside and get this one arrow cart up. And remember that this is pre-patch, before they increase the damage, before they increase the range. Uh, this one arrow cart, within a few seconds, you'll notice I'm starting to get tons of EXP and they get pushed back immediately. It's pretty much all thanks to one well-placed arrow cart supplementing the main force's assault. And to me, I always figured Siege was supposed to supplement assaults, at least things like arrow cards. Um, I personally saw them as anti-player instead of obviously can't do anything to gates and walls. And I felt like it already did that really effectively. Instead, with uh, increased range and damage, uh, it's taking even less emphasis on the armies and the players and putting more on the arrow cards, which I don't like. Uh, here you'll even see one arrow cart is enough to stop uh, an enemy ninja. We have a force attacking our tower that's pretty sizable while our main keep is being attacked by the other server. These players decided to be opportunistic and try and get in a ninja while we were distracted. I noticed it, I came over here with one other person, and we set up one arrow cart. And this one arrow cart, as you'll see, remember, pre-patch, this is before any of the buffs to it, is enough to stop a sizable ninja team trying to steal this tower. Uh, it does very good damage to the enemy catapults. You can place it in spots like this that are very hard for the enemy to AoE, if not impossible. I don't even think uh, they can hit this arrow cart, and I can freely rain down arrows on them non-stop until they decide to move on. Even if you're on a higher tier server with more players, uh, you'll see it didn't take long at all to melt the catapult they were using. Even if you can't kill the players themselves, you can easily kill the siege with an arrow cart, which I don't entirely agree with too, but that's the way it is, and that's the way it was before the buffs. 
You'll also notice now, uh, if you're trying to siege from catapult and not ninja range like this group was, but you know, a mid distance range uh, siege of a tower, half the time you'll have to replace catapults, because at least commanders like me are used to certain spots, because we've done it so often. There's a lot of spots now that, thanks to the increased range in arrow carts, you can't use anymore. And a lot of areas you absolutely need some elevation, because otherwise, you're not going to be able to get the distance you need to outrange the enemy's arrow carts that they have set up defensively. Personally, uh, I think the range is completely uncalled for. I don't see why they increase the range on arrow carts at all. Uh, this is all pre-patch footage I'm showing you here, and you can use arrow carts very effectively in a defensive siege situation. If these players want to catapult from further range instead of the ninja spot, that means I would just have to place a counter catapult. Uh, that's what made uh, the siege unique. There's different situations for different things you would use. Now with the increased range, there's pretty much one thing you use for every situation. And that's arrow cards. And that wraps up this video guys. I hope this has been helpful for players who might not have been using arrow cards extensively pre-patch and why many players, including myself, are concerned with buffing Siege this much when it was already very effective. I know some players are trying to justify it by saying that this is meant to help smaller groups because it's a good anti-Zerg tool. But the problem is it's not a tool anymore. Uh, it's becoming much more important than the players themselves. And what sense does it make to say that this is going to help smaller groups when a larger group can build more arrow cards than the smaller group can? Do we even want to be promoting an atmosphere or a game that's about who can build the most arrow carts or most siege in general? Uh, I've always felt that siege is supposed to supplement the players, especially in a game that has a rich sort of character creation and different builds like Guild Wars 2. Uh, the skills and utilities and dynamics of groups in this game are really unique and fun, and I feel like siege is supposed to complement that, not take it over. So. We'll just have to see what ArenaNet has in store with us. I have faith that they'll find a happy medium for everyone. Until then, keep up the good fights.